All right, we're gonna make that much. I put two cup of the food that you're gonna be feeding your puppy later on when you take it out of the mudge. So it's gonna be two cup. Put in the blender. Should be good enough. Cream peas and carrots. One bag. You're gonna do this much, it's gonna last you maybe uh, three days. So you making it for three days, you put it in the refrigerator, and then you start taking out by little by little when you feed in the dog. So you don't have to be making it every day. So that's the way I do it. And it worked fine for me. No problem. Put in the blend too. Giving it pure vitamin, man, so you can build a good foundation for your dog. So they grow healthy, they get all the vitamin they need. That's why. Now it's gonna be two can of this.
cold milk. I put uh, four tablespoons. Remember that the daughters still need the milk from the mother and they're not gonna be drinking so much milk, so they still need this. Next step is pumpkin. I just put a full a full can. Baby food, I'm gonna put one cup. Now I'm gonna mix, mix it up everything together. We'll see you in a minute. Got water boiling right there that I may add to this. Right now, you see, look like a uh, mashed potato. I may add some hot water. That's like a cup of water. Mix it up real good. Let me show you. Mix it up real good. All right, this is my mush right here. It's done. But say, when you start introduce this to the puppy, you're not gonna give it to this like this. You have to make it a little bit sour, like a gravy. So I'm gonna show you. A sample, I put uh, two spoon here. Have to fit the puppy again. All right, I put a two spoon. See, it look like a mashed potato. I just gonna add a little bit of water. I would say maybe like a two tablespoon of water. I mean, it's all depends how much you're gonna feed your dog, how many puppies you got, but right here. I just add some more hot water. And now this look like gravy. Make sure that it's warm, it's not that hot, it's not that cold. Because when they start eating this, they're not gonna be in the same temperature as the uh, the milk from the mother. So the 
uh, so the feeling they're gonna be chicken, you know, they're gonna be shaking and stuff like that. So you just put it back in the incubator, make sure that they get back the temperature, and then you give it to the mother so they can drink uh, a little bit of milk. But pretty much that's it, man.